on this episode of Cash Canada. It's our last day on Vancouver Island and we're going big right off the bat. This virtual we're going after is the only one in Canada. This is Victoria! This is Vancouver Island. hiking up Mount Doug today, but not up to the summit. It looks like with less than 100 meters to go, we're just going to be going to the base of the major part of the hill. And that's our object today is a virtual cache, only one of its kind in Canada. it in and uh, I'm gonna turn around and go back this is a I think a one and a one and a half four virtual only one in Canada holy shit coming out Good job, buddy I'm not all that claustrophobic, but like it's stuck. Okay, if it's stuck, <sighs> Okay, go ahead. I did it. I wasn't going to go in. Boy, Dude, look I'm not coming here. Maybe you want to throw up. That's. <laughs> I think I need to change. <laughs> that was amazing. It was squishy and kind of scary, but it was amazing. Yeah, we did it. And I can't believe I did it. I got in there and sat up. Got Look at your knees. Yeah, oh, I know. You should see my knees. They're just horrible in the shirt. I think it's done. <laughs> I brought a change of clothes. Yeah, so. I think uh, Neil Moore, I got to get another cash tail shirt. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of yeah. trashed it. Yeah. Well, you could send it to Bob Billy, see you. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll he wear like it. it. So anyway, that was a one of a kind, one and a half, four, virtual, only one in Canada, right here. And another grid filled for our virtual fizzy. And you got mud on your nose. Oh no. From where we parked for that cache to the cave was about a kilometer. And we picked the route carefully as so as to avoid a lot of terrain change. The pathway was mostly flat with a little bit of elevation gain as you get up to the base of the hill and where the cave is. Another route that we could have taken was on the far side, which probably would have meant going even higher and around the top of the hill. So what we did made it quite leisurely, 
except for getting squishy in the cave. This one says, stand at the bus stop sign and you can see the cache. There's no coordinates on the bus stop. No, so can you see the cache? Can you see the cache? I can see the cache. Even with the clue, this is a sneaky one. You really had to know where you were going. Yeah, you had to know which front yard to go in. <laughs> but I think we went in the wrong one at first. Very cool cache, over 140 favorite points. Yeah. That was worth Pretty coming cool. to. Yeah. We're finishing up our time here in Victoria with some adventure labs. Yeah, and we have a couple of tips and an observation about labs. We're finding that the linear ones are a little bit more backtracking and it makes it a little more difficult, especially mm -hmm. with parking. Yeah, linear seems to be the default when you start creating an adventure lab. And it would be kind of uh, do everyone a favor and open it up and make it just open. Let the adventurer choose the order of the labs. Mm -hmm. And a couple of tips. You don't need to put it in all caps or all small. It doesn't matter either way. You don't also don't need to leave any spaces in the answer if there's multiple words. That's correct. So if somebody has a name, you can blur it all together as one word. Works just the same. You just gotta watch your spelling. Yeah.